The Path Trace feature is a simple yet powerful tool that helps you track down connectivity issues between two nodes on your network. These issues may not be listed under the Issues section on the Client 360 screen. By running a path trace, you can unearth issues that may not directly impact the client, but are located elsewhere in the network. Before we begin, ensure that you have discovered all devices on your network. Path trace is more accurate when all devices that are part of a trace are in the DNA center. You can perform a path trace from the Client 360 page or the Device 360 page. For the purposes of this video, we'll go via the Client 360 page. To access Path Trace, click Assurance on the DNA Center homepage. The Health tab opens by default. Because we're using the Client 360 page to access Path Trace, we must first search for a client on the network, through which we'll get to their devices on the network. Typically, we search for a client using their network login username. Let's say we want to check on user Daphne's client applications. Click User360 under her name. You see the Client360 page. To run a path trace to locate connectivity issues associated to Daphne's PC, click the Daphne PC tab. Scroll down to the Path Trace section. Click Run New Path Trace. In the Setup Path Trace window that appears, the source IP address is pre-populated with Daphne's PC address. You can, however, change the source device by choosing another host name or IP address from the drop-down, which could be any of the discovered devices in the DNA Center. If you do not want to scroll through the drop-down list to find the device, you can search by entering the host name or IP address and choose from the drop-down list. In this video, Daphne is having issues connecting to a printer, which means that you must test the connectivity between her PC and the printer. Ensure that the source field is populated with Daphne PC's IP address. You can choose to add the source port details. The source port is randomly generated and it's not mandatory that you enter these details. For the destination IP address, choose the host name or IP address of the destination device where you want the path trace to end. In this case, it is the inaccessible printer. Enter the host name or IP address of the printer. You can add the destination port details, which helps in identifying the specific network path that packets will be forwarded. If you want to specify the protocol that will be used to establish the path trace, choose from the options in the drop-down. Specifying the protocol and source port are optional when setting up a path trace. However, the more information you provide, the more accurate the path trace is going to be. A trace refresh every 30 seconds is turned on by default. This gets you the latest trace results at regular intervals without having to run the trace again. Access Control Lists, or ACLs, are used for policy enforcement and can deny certain types of traffic in the network. The ACL trace, which is turned on by default, shows you if the interfaces or devices that have ACLs are blocking traffic. If you want to collect statistical data along the path as the path trace progresses, select these parameters. These statistics help you determine if there's any stumbling block along the way that is affecting the connectivity. When you run the path trace with device stats on, every node in the path trace shows the CPU and memory utilization information about the device. If you select interface, the path trace collects interface statistics, like the number of packets received on the interface, number of packets dropped from the input queue, and number of packets dropped from the output queue. If you select QoS, the path trace collects QoS statistics that indicate if there are any drops in the QoS policies. Now that you've completed the path trace setup, click Start to run a path trace between Daphne's PC and the printer. The path trace topology is displayed that visually depicts the end-to-end -end communication between the PC and the printer. 
What would have taken hours to figure out manually by logging on to each device individually is now in front of you, the details waiting to be mined. You can find out more about any device in the path. What's more, you can also get to the detailed health parameters of that device. You can also get details about an interface. You can see additional egress and ingress details about the interface to review if there have been any congestion or packet drops. If you choose to leave the ACL trace option on, the path trace topology shows ACL in a green circle for traffic that is being permitted and a red circle for traffic that is being denied. You can get more information about the ACL that is applied to the interface. Scroll down and you can see the issues the path trace operation has unearthed. In this scenario, you can see that the ACL is blocking Daphne's PC from accessing the printer. This was not detected automatically by the Client360 on the DNA Center. And this is how PathTrace helps you identify connectivity issues with a single click.